Well, welcome to today's post. Uh, in this post, I'll be showing you how to create your own parts in a custom library uh, so that you can use parts that aren't included with Eagles and um, bundled libraries. So the first thing we do, go File, select New, and go to Library. And it'll bring up the screen on the top, you'll see three buttons. One is Device, another is Package, and the last is Symbol. To create a custom part in Eagle, you need to create the package and the symbol and then bundle them together to create a device and that's what you'll actually use in your project. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start off today with is a package and in the next post, the next video, I'll show you how to do the symbol and then put those together for a device. So if you click on package, I'll bring up this dialog, I'm going to do a two and a half digit LCD. And Eagle doesn't like spaces, so I use underscores. Ask if you want to create the package, say yes. And you'll get to this screen. It's, it looks a lot like the board layout. It's because you're essentially laying out a board. <clears throat> when you come back here to this data sheet that I have loaded up, you'll see some package dimensions. And you'll see this on every data sheet. Uh, if you don't see it, then you should probably choose a different part. But what we're going to look at today, just to keep it simple, is the absolute maximum dimensions, um, which are going to be 30 millimeters or 1.181 inches by 26.17 millimeters. That's the package. If you look over here, you'll see the pins stick out a little bit farther than that. They go out 28.67 millimeters um, from end to end. And that's okay. We're just going to outline the package. We'll see the pins, but what this will enable us to do is make sure that we're not putting parts too close to the pins and overlap and stuff. And you'll see there's a, a one millimeter tab here. I'm going to ignore that just to be simple. So let's do this package first. Remember it's 30 by 26.17 and that's millimeters. So you come over here to your your package. I'm going to change my grid. Set this to millimeters. And I'm going to say 0.01. And the way I like to do it, especially when I'm doing a pretty simple shape, is using the wire or the lines. Um, if you come over here, you'll see that it highlights wire in this list of text uh, menu options. And what these are, they're the they are actually the the text implementation of these same graphical um, methods of creating a package. So if you go into the help, you can look at the syntax for it, but I'll tell you it's that you, uh, you type in wire. So you type in wire, then you type your start point, then you type your next point, which for us is going to be 30 zero, and then you keep on going all the way around. And you put a semicolon on it to end it, otherwise it'll let you keep going after this. You go ahead and press enter, and there you go. There's your packet dimensions. Now if you come back to the data sheet, next thing we're going to do is the pins. You could also do all this artwork inside, but that's all it is. It's purely artwork. Um, it's nice to know what you're laying down, though. Um, but if we look here, our pins start, our, our vias, our holes, need to start 6.11 millimeters from the edge of this package and they're spaced by 2.54 millimeters. So, we come back to Eagle, we select a hole, a pad, and in these parts I didn't, I wasn't able to find anything that said um, what size the pins are, so I'm just going to leave it with the standard drill size. You could go bigger if you wanted to just to be sure. Um, and the other thing we need to notice is that they're 28.67 millimeters apart like I pointed out earlier. So that's an extra 2.5 millimeters beyond the package. Split between the two sides, that's an extra 1.25 millimeters that you need to go out from the package on either side. So when we come back here, this one is going to need to be centered at 6.11 millimeters and negative 1.25 millimeters. 
So we're going to come in here and we're going to need to zoom in so we can place this pretty precisely. Um, and you know, if you if you know that your drill size is bigger than your pin size, you don't really need to worry about how precise you are because it's a through hole component, you know. I mean, as long as you're close, you'll be able to just stuff your pins in there. So, coming back to the data sheet just as a reminder, these pins are 2.54 millimeters apart. So our next one needs to be at 8.65 and still at negative 1.25. So we go ahead and place this guy and you get the idea. You have 14 more of those to go I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'm going to come back after I've got all the after I've got all the uh, holes laid out. One thing I did want to point out before moving on is that there is a text command to create pads as well and it's just pad and you give it the points that you want it at so the x and y coordinates. So to create this last one I'm just going to say 6.11 27.42 and there's our last pad. So this is pretty much the end of the package. Um, we could add some artwork in there if we wanted to or we could just go and put text in there and say 188 and OK. And we could make it the biggest size that there is available. And there you go. It's a lot easier than actually going in and drawing the 188 in the seven segment format that you see it on in the data sheet. Um, just a couple of things I want to point out is that on the data sheet, if you look, your pins are going 1 through 8, 9 through 16. Now, when I was creating it, I went ahead and do 1 through 8 and 9 through 16, but it's very easy to come down here and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then come up here and do 9 through 16. It's not a big deal. It's not a fatal flaw of any means, but when you go to create the package, it's a lot easier, or when you go to create the device, it's a lot easier if the symbols on your package line up with the data sheet and the symbols or the, the the pad numbering on your package lines up with your data sheet and the pin number on your symbol lines up with your data sheet but if you didn't do it that way it, it's alright you can work that out in the device um, I think that's it so like I said next time we'll go ahead and do the symbol and combine this with that symbol and create a device that you can use in your projects. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I know the audio has been an issue. Um, it's a little faint, but if you turn your speakers up, everybody I've talked to has said they can hear it just fine. So hopefully I'll get that worked out and it won't be an issue anymore. But until then, any suggestions on future posts, future content would be appreciated. Um, and until next time, have fun.